You're traveling through the unknown, a journey beyond the corners of reality, where the shadows whisper and the chill runs deep. Welcome to the dimension where your deepest fears are given form. This is The Midnight Mystery. Welcome to The Midnight Mystery. This episode is called Our Last Summer, The Poolside Nightmare. In each episode, we delve into the shadowed corners of our existence, bringing you tales of the eerie, the uncanny, and the downright terrifying. From the realms of the supernatural to the depths of the human psyche, no stone is left unturned, no dark secret left hidden. As the clock once again draws near midnight, prepare to embark on another adventure into the uncanny, the eerie, the horrifying, the midnight mystery. As the sun sunk low and a curtain of darkness draped over the town, Simon, hands on the wheel of his dad's old truck, turned to Ashley, his mischievous eyes catching hers. How about a little adventure tonight? Ashley smirked, leaning over to plant a quick kiss on his cheek. Always up for it. What do you have in mind? Simon glanced in the rearview mirror, catching Pete's attention. Remember that old indoor pool off the highway? The one they closed down years ago? How about a night swim? Pete chuckled. That place? Sounds like a ghost story waiting to happen. But I'm in. Sarah? Sarah, ever so reserved, hesitated for a moment, her fingers fidgeting with the hem of her dress. I don't know, guys. Breaking in. What if we get caught? Pete, trying to put on his most reassuring smile, leaned in. Hey, it's just a bit of harmless fun. Plus, I'll be right there with you. Sarah hesitated but was drawn in by the potential of a night she'd never forget. All right, but if I get a single scratch, Simon, you owe me. Simon laughed. Deal, and trust me, you won't regret it. They pulled up to the dilapidated facility, its broken sign creaking in the gentle summer breeze. Weeds grew between the cracks in the pavement, and nature was reclaiming what was once a lively recreational spot. The windows were boarded up, save for one that was slightly ajar. Ashley, squeezing Simon's hand excitedly, whispered, It looks even creepier than I imagined. Sarah, taking a deep breath, muttered more to herself than anyone else. Why did I agree to this? Pete gently nudged her. For the adventure. And who knows, maybe for some good company. He winked, and she smiled shyly in response. Simon and Ashley, always the bold ones, took the lead, finding their way inside first. Their laughter echoed through the hollow building as the eerie greenish hue of the pool's water reflected on the walls. As Pete helped Sarah climb through the window, their hands brushed against each other, sending a jolt of electricity between them. Sarah looked up, a slight blush on her cheeks, her earlier apprehension momentarily forgotten. Inside, the sound of dripping water, mixed with the friends' excited voices, created a surreal atmosphere. The place, even in its ruin, had a peculiar charm. Simon shouted, Last one in is a rotten egg. Ashley squealed with glee, No fair! And both of them jumped into the water. The splash broke the spell of the moment, and Pete turned to Sarah, extending his hand invitingly. Sarah hesitated, glancing at her reflection in the water. I didn't exactly come prepared for a swim, she admitted, a tinge of self-consciousness in her voice. Pete smiled warmly. Neither did I. How about we just dip our feet in? Besides, it'll be our little secret. Sarah's hesitance melted away as she agreed. They sat down, their feet making ripples in the water. The dim light of the pool area illuminated Simon and Ashley's figures. They were close tantalizingly so. Whispered words and shared secrets pulled them even closer, until their lips met in an impulsive, lingering kiss. Their hands explored each other, seeking familiar comfort and newfound excitement. Resurfacing from their intimate moment, Ashley blinked water out of her eyes, her arms still draped around Simon. Every moment feels electric with you, she murmured. Simon, his hands resting on her waist, smirked. That's because every second with you is an adventure waiting to happen. Their playful laughter and shared glances hinted at a bond that went deeper than the pool they were in. You ever been here before? Pete inquired, sneaking glances at Sarah trying to gauge her comfort. No, but I've heard stories. Mostly ghost tales to scare kids away, Sarah replied, a hint of unease in her voice. Pete smirked. Well, if any ghosts show up, I promise to protect you. He flexed his arm comically, drawing a chuckle from Sarah. She shook her head, 
playfully nudging him with her shoulder. You're silly. You know that? It's a defense mechanism. Helps break the ice, he confessed, winking at her. Sarah felt a warmth creeping up her neck, grateful for the dim lighting. So, she started, trying to shift the conversation. You come here often with Simon and Ashley? Pete looked towards the couple who were now locked in an embrace, seemingly lost in their world. Not really, just heard about this place. But I'm glad we came. Aren't you? Sarah paused, considering the question. Yeah, I guess it's a new experience. Pete leaned in slightly, his voice softer. That's the spirit. New experiences make for the best memories. Sarah looked up to meet his gaze, sensing an unspoken promise of more shared memories to come. The mood around the pool had a certain tranquility to it, with the soft sound of water gently lapping at its edges. Pete and Sarah sat close, their earlier conversations acting as stepping stones to deeper revelations. I never really thought I'd be here, doing something this... Bold, Sarah admitted, her voice barely above a whisper, her gaze firmly on the water's reflection. Pete smiled softly. You're full of surprises. Sarah turned to him, her defenses slowly melting. My parents, they're overprotective. Nights like this, they were forbidden tales, you know? Pete nodded. I get it. We all have our cages. Mine was self-made. Took a lot to break free. Their eyes met, a mutual understanding passing between them. Sarah's heart raced, and she found herself revealing more than she'd ever expected. I've always wanted to dance, Pete, under the stars, like no one's watching. Pete's eyes twinkled. Then why don't you? Here. Now. Sarah looked around, a bit unsure. I... I don't know. Pete stood up, offering his hand with a playful grin. Come on, just one dance. Sarah hesitated for a moment, and then throwing caution to the wind, took his hand. They swayed together, no music except for the beating of their hearts. As the dance ended and they stood breathless, Pete, sensing the moment, tilted his face, moving closer to Sarah. But just as their lips were about to meet, Sarah's eyes widened in horror. Her gaze fixed over Pete's shoulder and her body went rigid. Pete, perplexed, whispered, Sarah, what's... She cut him off with a sharp gasp, pointing behind him. Pete turned around slowly, and the sight before him drained the color from his face. Simon and Ashley stood there, but they were grotesquely transformed. Simon's eyes glowed in unnatural white, his smile stretching impossibly wide. But what was truly horrifying was his arm. It had turned into a monstrous parasitic entity that gruesomely wrapped around and embedded itself into Ashley's torso. Ashley's own eyes mirrored Simon's, but her expression was even more disturbing. She looked... ecstatic, as if deriving some twisted pleasure from the nightmarish bond. Pete stammered, his voice trembling. What? What happened to you guys? But they didn't respond. Instead, their unsettling smiles grew wider, and in a voice that seemed to emanate from a void, Simon whispered, Join us, Pete. It's... exhilarating. Pete backed away, pulling Sarah with him. We need to get out of here, he muttered. But Sarah was still frozen. The sight of her transformed friends a shock too great for her to process. This... this isn't real, she whispered, tears streaming down her face. Pete, taking charge, snapped. We don't have time, Sarah. We need to move. Now! As the two began their frantic escape, the chilling laughter of Simon and Ashley echoed through the pool area. The change in Ashley was swift and brutal. Before Pete and Sarah could even take a step back, her head grotesquely transformed. It elongated, splitting at the mouth to reveal layers of razor-sharp teeth. For a split second, the entity that was once Ashley looked right at Pete, hunger evident in its twisted features. Pete, wide-eyed, barely had time to whisper, no, before the parasite lunged at him with a speed that defied its newly formed size. The sharp teeth clamped down on Pete's head, and within moments, he crumpled lifelessly to the ground. Sarah screamed, the sound piercing through the eerie silence. Pete, no, she shrieked, tears blurring her vision. This can't be real. This can't be happening. As she tried to move, her path was blocked by Simon, his parasitic arm reaching out, seeking another victim. Sarah, he whispered in that hollow, echoing voice, Stay with us, forever. 
In a blind panic, Sarah bolted towards the exit door, praying it would give way. But as she frantically pulled and pounded, it remained unyielding. No, 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 she cried, her desperation mounting with every passing second. The reflections of the overhead lights off the pool cast a ghostly pallor, adding to her disorientation. Behind her, the mocking laughter of the transformed Simon and Ashley grew closer. There's no way out, Sarah. Ashley's voice, now a distorted hiss, teased. Sarah remembered the window they had crawled through. Without a second thought, she sprinted in its direction, but the realization quickly dawned. It was too high, too far out of reach. The creeping despair felt like a tangible force, wrapping itself around her. Slumping against the wall, Sarah's gaze fell on Pete's lifeless body, the gruesome bite mark a cruel reminder of their fleeting moments together. Her mind raced, grappling for a way out, any possible escape. Ashley? Simon? Why? What happened to you? She cried out, her voice echoing through the vastness of the indoor pool. The transformed Ashley, her voice dripping with malice, replied, We were chosen, Sarah, and soon you will be too. Sarah's breath came in ragged gasps, the chilling laughter of her transformed friends echoing in her ears. The vast expanse of the pool shimmered invitingly before her. In a split-second decision, she sprinted towards the pool and took a deep breath before diving in the cold water enveloping her. Under the surface, the distorted sounds of Simon and Ashley's pursuit faded. The water around Sarah seemed to pulsate, as if it were alive. She tried to swim to the other end, hoping to buy herself some time, but a strange pull from below caught her attention. Glancing downwards, her eyes widened in shock. The pool floor seemed to have morphed into a swirling vortex of colors and shadows. The once-tiled surface now pulsed with an eerie light, drawing her in. Is this a portal? She thought, both intrigued and terrified. A voice in the back of her head whispered, It's your only chance. Taking a moment to stabilize her racing heart, she approached the vortex, feeling its gravitational pull growing stronger. She felt a sudden rush of memories, laughter with her friends, Pete's tentative advances, the horror that followed. Just as her lungs began to scream for air, she felt a hand grip her ankle, whipping around, she saw Ashley's transformed, grotesque form, trying to drag her away from the portal. Their eyes locked, one pair filled with panic and desperation, the other with a twisted hunger. Join us, Sarah! Ashley's voice seemed to resonate even underwater, its tone dripping with malevolence. Kicking with all her might, Sarah managed to free her ankle from Ashley's grasp. The vortex now seemed like her only hope, her sole escape from this nightmare. Summoning all her courage, she swam directly towards it the swirling colors enveloping her. A powerful current gripped her, tugging her downwards, deeper and deeper. As she felt herself being pulled into another realm, Sarah's thoughts raced. Is this salvation or a leap into another nightmare? Everything around her started to blur. The sensation of being in water faded, and she felt a strange weightlessness. The last thing she heard before everything went dark was the distant, echoing laughter of her transformed friends. Bursting forth from the water, Sarah gasped, filling her lungs with the crisp mountain air. She quickly scrambled out of the luminous pond, droplets of the radiant blue water trailing behind her. The environment was jarringly different from the indoor pool. She stood atop a desolate mountain, the stars above shining brighter and clearer than she had ever witnessed. Shaking, both from cold and fear, Sarah took in her surroundings. The tranquility of the place seemed paradoxical to the terror she had just fled from. However, this sense of calm was short-lived. As her gaze wandered, it locked onto something in the distance. Looming against the backdrop of the starlit sky was a gigantic cosmic entity. The being, both nebulous and solid, pulsated with colors that seemed impossible, its form constantly shifting and shimmering. It exuded an aura of immeasurable power and ancient knowledge. Tendrils of energy and light snaked outwards, weaving patterns in the air. Sarah tried to speak, her voice a mere croak. Wh who What are you? The entity remained silent, its enormity making the mountain beneath Sarah's feet feel like a mere pebble. But after a few heartbeats, the universe around them seemed to resonate with a voice, or perhaps a thousand voices speaking in unison. We are the end and the beginning, the nexus of realities. Overwhelmed, Sarah stumbled back, clutching her head. Why am I here? What do you want from me? 
The voices replied, tone both soothing and menacing. You are an anomaly, a trespasser between worlds. We merely observe. Sarah's eyes darted around, looking for any possible escape, but the mountain's edge loomed dangerously close. The realization dawned that there might be no way back, no way forward, only the here and now with this incomprehensible being. But as she continued to gaze upon the entity, something within her began to change. The very sight of such an otherworldly presence started to ignite a burning sensation within her eyes. She felt a searing pain as flames seemed to sprout from her irises. She screamed, her hands clawing at her face. But the cosmic entity merely watched, its vastness and indifference a stark contrast to her agony. As the fire consumed her vision, a final explosive force surged within Sarah, her screams echoing off the mountainside before being silenced forever. I hope you enjoyed our episode. I'd like to extend a heartfelt thanks to you, our brave listeners. Your presence in this shared journey into the unknown is what fuels our stories. Your fascination is our motivation. Did this episode send chills down your spine? Then leave your comments, your thoughts and theories, your own midnight mysteries. Your feedback is the beacon that guides us through the uncharted territories of our stories. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. By joining the Midnight Mystery family, you won't miss out on a single chilling tale. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to know when a new episode lurks around the corner, ready to pull you back into the shadowy depths of the unknown. This is the Midnight Mystery signing off, leaving you with a simple reminder. When the clock strikes 12, fear the silence, for that's when our tales come to life. Good night, Midnight listeners. And remember, not all who wander into the dark are lost.